Hey guys, in this video I will tell you how to install Hadoop on Mac as a sudo distributed mode. Alright, so let's get started. Before we go and install the tar.gz file from the official Apache site, we can always uh, create a directory, say uh, my Hadoop. and use my Hadoop. Uh, this would actually be a neat way of where all my Hadoop files would be stored. So now let's download the file from uh, this website uh, hadoop.apache.org. Uh, you can always go ahead and select whichever version you want. In my case I would be downloading the version 3.2.1 and uh, let's click on this binary dot checksum file and you will be directed to this page where you just go to mirrors.hadoop and a tar.gz file which uh, I would want it to be there in my Hadoop that's the place I want to store it and let us wait for this tar.gz to be downloaded so now my tar.gz file is downloaded and I just unzip it so uh, after unzipping uh, you can uh, see these files and uh, one thing that you can actually do is you can just say okay let's just check whether which directory I'm in so I'm in my Hadoop directory and when I do ls I have my tar.gz and my Hadoop file structure so I just do cd Hadoop and now when I see ls I have my bin etc and etc so um, what you can do is um, let's go to the bin directory and let's do ls and you can see that you have hdfs, mapreduce, etc, yawn. So um, this is, uh, I'm getting your notice to this so that you can actually really uh, use your hdfs commands to actually input files etc into uh, your hdfs file system and uh, so one thing that you can do now could be uh, Hadoop and it would just give you a brief uh, description of what your Hadoop is actually doing uh, so now let's just another uh, directory that I want to get your attention to is this etc directory when I do OS so over here you can see uh, the core site.xml right so uh, let's just write uh, open core site.xml and uh, so it's an xml file and oh, you can always go ahead and uh, copy this piece of code which I have actually got it from the official site as you can see over here so um, go ahead go ahead and copy the same configuration and as well as for HDFS site so I will just do it from here you can all do it from the terminal or you can do it from your key finder so uh, go to your HDFS slash site dot XML and open it uh, over here also you need to go to the official site and just copy this just save it so uh, you're done uh, on this spot now the only thing that we need to do is set your hood, uh, java home directory and where you do that would be in your um, Hadoop, uh, sla Hadoop slash env dot sh. So just do that. All right. So uh, now let's just go to the place where you have to export Java Home. So um, you export your Java Home and let's search where my java jdk is present so as you can see it's my J java jdk is in java virtual machine adopt, adopt open jdk and condense so this should be my path 
so I just copy it and I paste it and here you go so the next thing that needs to be done is SSH your localhost so in my case I'm just directly getting the last login but in case you do not get this then just type these three lines of code into your terminal and your password gets removed now all you need to do is go to your Hadoop my Hadoop directory just do ls now uh, since we are in this directory and let's just write bin Hadoop let's format our name node some time just type in yes and you have formatted you've successfully formatted your name node now we are all set to start our Hadoop system so just write start all give it some few moments for this to start Now let's type in JPS and uh, you see that the data node, secondary name node, node manager as well as the name node is up and running. Uh, also you can just type in a uh, localhost 9870 to get the health of your system and to actually check in what files are actually uh, present in your Hadoop you can just go to the browse file system and you can start inserting your files in this uh, I'll just give you a brief overview of how brief command small command to actually show you how to create a directory so uh, for that you just need to do bin oh before that just be sure yeah so um, we do just do bin slash hdfs dfs minus mk dir minus p slash user slash suppose you want to run a word count probably and with this you can see that your user and a word count problem has already been created to actually put in some file uh, so uh, let's just do ls and okay so I have a file named exe so I can just put bin slash hdfs sorry minus put is the command where you put in the exe text file which is in my local directory to my user slash word count slash input which is my this directory and uh, yeah so after this you just go here and you can see the input file that is there size 23 so you've successfully uploaded a file into your HDFS system. Um, some other stuff you can do is your MapReduce code, uh, which again, you can just follow this website. MapReduce tutorial of Apache Hadoop. So it's a really simple tutorial, but the problem is to actually get started with Hadoop since that takes a lot of time and patience. So. Hope this video helped you guys and thank you for watching.